Today's episode brings us a 2012 Porsche Cayenne. It won't come out of park. They bypass the shift selector. It goes into drive, but it won't shift. It's in lint mode. There's no communication with the scan tool to the transmission control module. Let's dig in and see what's going on underneath. Well, we have a lot of communication codes. Gateway saying no comms with the steering wheel. Communication with tailgate control unit. Communication with instrument cluster. Communication with AC control unit. Communication with powertrain uh, power control module. Okay, so the gateway has passive sporadic codes. So it's had no comms. Steering wheel ECU. So this thing, what they told me is that it doesn't come out of gear or it won't go into gear. Sorry, it's stuck in park. It won't go into gear. And it doesn't shift. They, they uh, bypass it, right? So that like when you tow a vehicle to make it go into neutral, they put it in neutral and then, but it won't shift, you know, but it goes into drive. So he said there was no comms to the transmission. Yeah, TCM no calm. That's not good. That is not good. This is a Porsche. Open up a couple windows, like usual. Oh, we have aftermarket diagrams. Let's see how that can uh, lead us in the wrong direction. Transmission and drivetrain. Uh, we're going to go with... Could probably try shift interlock first. Just because that's not working. So what do we got here? A 10 amp fuse that feeds power to the stoplight switch, which is probably the brake pedal. That sends a signal over to the body control module. Which says is on the driver's side dash. Selector lever position goes to selector lever control unit under center console. I wonder if we have one of those. Then we have instrument cluster. Okay, I don't see. This box is solid. It's not dashed like these are dashed. This one is not. That means that these are all the wires. I see ground. I don't see any power feed. Selector lever supply in the selector lever position. So it gets its power from the cluster. See another ground. Uh, park indicator. Selector lever. Oh, here we go. TCM. I missed that whole thing. Under front passenger seat. Nice. That's awesome. Okay, so here we don't... Let's see. We don't have communication to the transmission control module. Let's see if we have the ability. Oh, we should not have the ability to communicate with the selector lever because there's no CAN bus wires that were going to it. So it does not communicate. Um, I guess next let's go to our TCM. So that's going to be automatic circuit. Let's see here. Under front passenger seat, transmission control unit. See what we get. We got grounds. It says terminal 15, which is going to be our key on power. Comes from fuse 19. What do we got here? Automatic transmission. Whoops. Automatic transmission. And then we have position switch. Interesting. 
So it will most likely be necessary to make it to the valve body and see what's going on. But I'm not 100% sure still, guys. Still not 100% sure. Okay, let's go. We got can low, can high. Selector level lever, level switch, position switch, inputs and outputs, terminal 15, shift interlock, relay control, I don't know what that is, we're going to click it. All right. So this power also goes to transmission oil pump relay and there's two of them. Oh, hybrid and not hybrid. What do we have here? Transmission oil pump driver, transmission oil pump, oil pump driver, selector lever under sensor console. <laughs> Something tells me that that's going to be a nightmare to get to. Here's our terminal 30, which is supplied by the instrument cluster. Okay, simple enough. It's actually not too complicated of a diagram. So basically, we're going to have to check for powers, grounds, and communication to the TCM. That is the game plan. Let's figure out, it says under front passenger seat. How difficult is that going to be? TCM, whoops. Which this won't bring up anything. Probable causes, oh, automatic transmission. That's the exact same complaint. Transmission shifting or engagement concern with no PCM, TCM communication, automatic transmission transactional, probable causes. Okay, appreciate that. Um, transmission. Control. Module. Locations. On Cayenne vehicles is located under the right hand seat in the area of the backrest. Sounds like it's going to be impossible. What year is this? A 2012? I'm not going to be able to program this. Oh my goodness. It slid into something. Holy cow. What is in there, huh? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There is definitely some stuffs in here, huh? Oh. Wow. Wow. Okay, it's way deep in there. I don't know if you guys would be able to see in there. Let's see. That's it. Way in there. Jeez. Ugh. Holy moly, I hope this is the right one. That was a pain in the butt. Let's verify we're on the right connector. I should have got the connector view. Guess you don't get connector views. Fantastic. So excited to be doing this right now. Okay. Being how one and two are ground. Terminal 15 is going to be blue and black. We're just going to cut the connect the zip tie on the back. That way we can do all of our checking. That's what we're going to have to do and we're going to use uh we'll use our uh, we're going to use the line spy, the, the the line spy and then test lights.
All right, plugged up to our ground. Now we're gonna grab our low test light just because I don't know exactly where everything is and what everything is and pretty small terminals there. So we're gonna grab our turquoise terminal here. If that's the right color, I don't know. I am not good at colors, sorry. Want somebody that's good at colors, you know, I don't know what to say. So we're gonna do, well actually, you know what? We're gonna swap over to, we're gonna put this on power. We're gonna do grounds first, cause those are gonna be the easiest. So pins one and two are supposed to be ground. The key is off currently. There we can see we have ground one and two. Ground, okay, simple enough. Now, let's see if we have any other grounds. None that I see. So what we can do next is turn the key on and we're gonna check for powers. So we're lit off. All right, now we're gonna swap it over to our ground pin. Sorry, I'm kind of laying down here. And so I think they're not numbered, but Let's guess that connector number three is here, and we guessed right. Woo, it's like playing Russian roulette. Okay, so we got 27 and 28 are also gonna be terminal 15. 27 and 28, so that's four, let's go five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. There's no power. There's no slot. Man, this sucks. All right, tell you what. We're gonna have to get this off the back here so we can see the color of the wires. Okay, now we got a little bit better view. What's going on here? Let's see. <sighs> Gotta get the zip tie off. Then we can pop this connector free. Perfect. Fantastic. Don't you just love it? Right? Okay. Pin five is green and brown. Pin five is green and brown. And we don't have that like we would think. All right, I got it figured out. This is uh, way different than what I had anticipated. This is one and two. It is marked. This is three. And three is terminal 15. So let's, what we're doing is we're swapping back over to put the test light on power. So we're gonna go three, which is black and blue. So one, two, three. Okay, so we're looking at pins 34 and 46 both are orange one is orange and brown and one is orange and black so again 34 and what we're dealing with here is 14 that's 52 26 40 1 2 1 2 40 39 38 37 36 35 34 this is really hard to look at but we can see that we do have communication we're going to drop it down to 500 microseconds. Communication is looking good on 34. Let's go to 46. So we had 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. And again, we do have communication. I don't look at a lot of Porsches, so I'm not sure exactly if this is correct. You know, uh, because the CAN bus is it's, it's a little weird looking in my opinion, but it is what it is. We got to go with it. I doubt a module is pulling this network down and messing it up. So we're just going to have to say that it's good and it needs a TCM. With good power, ground, and CAN bus activity at the TCM connector, the transmission control module is dead. 
It's confirmed. The TCM has failed and we will need a replacement. It'll also need programming. Another clean Diag locked down. See you in the next one.